Hey there and welcome back. Liverpool based O'Malley Shipping Company ran for three generations of the family in the mid to late eighteenth century until the loss of one of their clothes which drove the company to bankruptcy. The owner at the time, Jacob O'Malley, placed the blame somewhat irrationally on a shipping crate which family legend alleged to be haunted and that had been on the ship at the time. There is its crash. There are numerous tales of bizarre events surrounding the crate, and the story of the crate's origin is no less mysterious. It goes that a strange young man came to a carpenter's at the Liverpool dockyards with a very expensive looking harpist cord, which he insisted would be smashed up and the wood used for whatever purpose the carpenter desired. He refused to leave until the instrument had been completely. He had been utterly broken into its component parts in front of his eyes. When famous for his name, the man who identified himself as one Jack Freehorn. You haven't heard that name before? Oh, God. The rooms of Jack Freehorn, July 28, AD 1778. So, what trifle have you been wasting your father's money on now, Jack? What does it look like? It looks like a Virginia, virginal. A harvest cord, actually, in the Flemish style. Flem, yum. Quite old, quite expensive. Uh, grateful for something distracting you for the occult for once. I fear you may be speaking too soon, my friend. Oh god, I should have known. You and your silly obsession. So what devilry inhabits this magnificent instrument? The instrument as a whole is, for the most part, untainted by the ethereal realm. But its keys are what spark my interest. Usually, unusually even, they have been carved from centuries old English oak. And that's the interesting part. I will not be disheartened by that sharp tongue of yours. The wood has gone through many incarnations before being incorporated into this device. Items of furniture, building material. In fact, just over 200 years ago, it was part of a wall. A wall of a certain inn on a well-travelled road in Wales. The Unicorn. I'm so pleased you remember. I could hardly forget it, though I've been obsessing quite heart heartily over it of late. Your correspondence persists in filling your head with rubbish about ghosts and demons. I count myself very lucky to have tracked down even a small piece of that holstery. I know I've already told you some of the wonderful stories attached to it. And this instrument has had its fair share of mysterious happenings. The usual batch of strange noises, sudden madness and, it, and inexplicable deaths. See sense, my friend. That cu this curiosity of yours for all things ungodly has no doubt already befouled your immortal soul. You are a fine fellow, Wilbur, but you have not a drop of romance in your body. Now stop browbeating me for my inquiring mind and let us take dinner. Dinner. That night, Jack stirred from his bed by the sound of music emanating from his new instrument. Scary music at that. His first thought was anger, mostly because the harvest cord was an antique, never intended to be played. But then he listened to the haunting, melancholy tune and felt his stomach rolling inexplicably with fear. Who's down there? Wilbur, is that you? So, now we can go downstairs. And now we can shoot the demon. Oh yes, silly me, I forgot that I couldn't shoot the demon until I've got the pistol which is on here. So let's just prove that it's on here. Look, desk. Jack's desk was filled, covered untidily in letters, notes and papers he'd been studying lately. A thin top pistol given to Jack by his father lay gathering dust atop a pile of correspondence. So we get the pistol. Jack took the gun with him to confront the intruder. You can die on this part. I'm not sure how, because I've never actually tried it.
You won't take me, demon. Bang. And it wasn't the demon. Wilbur? No. Oh god, no. But I could have sworn. You. I know you. You have, have. Oh god. P please forgive me, your, your majesty, for my transgressions. I am a worthless, craven fool, not worth a second of your precious time. I beg you, spare me. I will redeem myself for my offence. I will be yours forever, my body, mind, and soul. Yeah, that's a great thing to say. Thank you, my lord. Thank you. Identify yourself as John Jack Freehorn. This may well have been in the same Jack Freehorn and went to foot form a bizarre religious cult. Probably was. A depraved group of paganist worshippers who were spoken of with much derision. <laughs> with my latest flashback, my knowledge of the history of the Cursed Wood gained another step. Before the crate, it had been a harvest gourd, and at some time before the harvest gourd, it had been part of some kind of holstery in Wales. An inn called the Unicorn. Why did that ring a bell somewhere in my recent memory? I'd definitely seen something in the Cl Clan Bronwyn Hotel that was linked to the place. But where? Where everything else is done. Shoven? Yeah, yes. Shoven's gone. And, of course, just like all the other flashbacks, is a note. Let's look at the note. Victim 3, Freehorn. The third man who desired judgment was Freehorn, who had bought from the luxuries that would that was the prince's soul. The prince came and struck down the love of the Frihorn, and the Frihorn knew the name of the king. And the Frihorn said, I know you now, O prince who was the arrogant man, and I anticipate your wish, and I will devote myself to spreading the teachings you have bought me in the love of your, our king. And the prince was satisfied, and Frihorn called all those who would listen, and they formed an order of blessed ag agonies that would work to redeem the follies of the men of technology. Yep, so, there's another note. Let's open the door, because shoban has gone. And now, let's go to, in fact, let's go find that next link to the puzzle. Let's go to down the stairs again eating fish that swim yeah I'm gonna take a pill I took another pill and waited for that anxiety to lift but it did not to my unending concern I realized that the decay of my ult ult of the ultimate hotel had spread either to me or to the pills and they no longer worked I had to find a way to restore their effect or at least another method of calming myself. So anyway, let's go look for another way to restore their effect, or another me method of calming myself. From somewhere to the west, I heard the sound, familiar sound of a door being unlocked. So, we go and check it out. Lenkman? <laughs> Lenkman, wait. So yeah, he's disappeared. So let's open the door because it's on luck now and you have a kitchen we all love kitchens don't we let's open the door which isn't there and then there's some man eating bugs there let me demonstrate um, what happens to you if you die that, that's my first save and I'm gonna keep that one Should save as Bogoblin and I'm gonna show what happens if you walk in I don't want that into the bugs you die that is a text isn't it yeah so we died and that's where we're going to stop the segment today so I'll see you for the next segment see you then <laughs>